Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my part four of my makeup collection declutter. And it's going to be all of my eyeshadows. And there is a lot. So hopefully I'll be able to get rid of some. Because, yeah, I need room in here. So <laughs> this, if you want to see my makeup collection declutter of my eyeshadows, just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. Um, these are all of my eyeshadows. And... Yes, I know I have a problem. <laughs> I cannot stop buying. But um, these are not including my big palettes, which I don't really have a whole lot of those. But I'm not going to include those in this one today. I'm going to start with this little one here. These, are, these little ones on the side are all Wet n Wild singles. Um, I'll try to show them to you like this. I'm going to go in there, but... Just these are all glitter. This one is just a pink shimmery. And then I have two of the black, just um, matte black. And then I have a blue shimmery one. I got all of these wet and wild ones for like 50 cents or less. I can't remember at different times. I think I got all of these together and the blue too, but I got the black ones after Halloween. And all of these are elf duos. And I'm going to keep all these because these are all fairly new to me. And there's just some really pretty colors in there. And they fit really nicely in here. So, keeping all those. So that was the easy one. Now I'm going to go into this one. Oops, sorry. Bumped it. These are all ELF, Positions Formula, LA Colors, Hard Candy, Wet n Wild. Yeah. So go ahead and get into here. These ones are hard candy shadow palettes that they're all real shimmery, glittery kind of colors, but um, I got these around Christmas time. They came with eyeliner pencils. One came with a set of the ones with the glitter on the bottom and one came with a set of they're just kind of shimmery like. So, and I really haven't got to play with these that much so I'm going to keep those for sure. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and I love this. I use this all the time, so I'm saving that. This one is the Walking on Eggshells Trio from Wet n Wild, and I love that. I use that all the time. I'm keeping that. These are Sally Girl eyeshadows that I got from um, Sally's, the beauty supply. And I got Snow, Mob, Cinnamon, and Coffee. They're pretty colors, and they are the ones, they're singles, but they slide together to make like a little palette, kind of. And I don't really grab for these a lot. I mean, they're nice. You can kind of see they're pigmented and everything. But I just have so many others that I grab for more, so I think I'm going to let Emily have these. I'm going to go ahead and let these ones go. Next, I have, these are the LA Colors. The smoky edition and the natural edition. The natural edition, the little string broke off. But these are pretty. I don't grab for these a lot either. As you can see that one's all broken off. But I'll go ahead and let these go. These these are pretty pigmented and they're real pretty on. I just don't use them a lot. So uh, let's see. This is an Elf palette. This is one I got for Christmas. This one too. These are new, so I'm going to keep those. I'm just going to move the ones I'm going to keep over here. And these are the ELF Geometric Shadow Books. I think uh, one I had and the other two I got for Christmas. And I'm going to keep these. I do like these. Pretty colors in there. I'm not going to swatch anything. Or I might swatch a few things. I'm not going to swatch everything because it'll, I'll be here all night and day. So. <laughs> Uh, these are the Physicians Formula. So this one is called the Shimmer Strips in Nude. And it's real pretty lace. I love the package of this. It's real cute. And those are the colors. Yeah, I do like this. I'm going to keep that. This one is called the Fashion Physicians Formula Fashionista. And I like that too, so I'm going to keep that. I really haven't had a chance to play with these two a whole lot, so I'm going to keep these two. This was the smoky one. That. These are the 
NYC quads. One, this one is in Union Square, and this one is in Lexington Luxury. And I think these were pretty. I think I used them maybe one time already. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They look pretty pigmented. Mm. I don't know if I'm going to really grab for these a lot because I have a lot of other palettes and whatnot that have these colors in them. So I think I'm going to let these go. And they're nice. There's, there's nothing wrong with them. As you can see, I just have way too many. These are all the LA Colors little six color palettes. These two I got from Family Dollar. And these two for some, uh, are not as pigmented as the Dollar Tree ones. If you can even see, I mean, that's supposed to be like a dark charcoal gray. And it's not even really coming off. So, I'm going to let these go. I've used it quite a bit, but it's just, I'm very disappointed in them. This one too. These are such pretty colors, but they're just no, no pigment to them. So, I'm going to let these go. Okay, now the rest of these, these are all LA Color, the little six color palettes. Um, this one I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to let go because it's just so bright colors I won't use that. These ones back here, I think I'm going to let these two go. Beautiful colors, I just don't grab for those a whole lot. Let's see, are these? No, one's, one's almost dude, okay. I'm going to keep both of those. And I'm going to keep this one. So I got rid of quite a few things in this box. Next I will do this one. And these are, let's see, they've got some Elf, there's some Revlon Singles, some Wet n Wild, some LA Colors, all kinds of stuff in here. So these two I'm definitely going to keep, the Elf ones. This one is a new one to me. This one I had, and I do like these. And I'm going to keep those. This, let's see, this one I'm going to let go of. I've had this a long time, as you can see, it's kind of open it but it's broken in some of these so let that one go this one I'm going to keep this is colored is the palette Don't Steal My Thunder it's just got like a white highlighter a silver and a black and the black is shimmery it's black shimmery yeah let's keep that I don't know why I keep those little sponges in them and stuff I never use those this one was in the color Knock On Wood Two of the uh, Rimmel Glam Eyes. I really haven't used these a whole lot, so I'm going to keep those. Those I got from the Dollar Tree. This is a Coastal Sense Revealed Sampler I got, which I could probably just let this go because I did get the Coastal Sense Revealed Palettes, the 1 and 2 for Christmas. So I'll let Emily have this. It's a cute little thing though, they just sent that for free with it. These are the Revlon Diamond Dust, and this one is in the color Celestial Silver, and they're very glittery and very powdery. If you can see, it looks, I mean, they look really pretty on. They're really, they're almost like too glittery for me. This one is in the color Starry Pink, which is a little bit more pink than this one. And they're just, as you can see in the palette or in the pan there, they're, the glitter is just all over. So I'm going to let her have these because she will love playing with the glitter. So Next I have, what's this here? This is a Maybelline New York eyeshadow duo in Gray Matters. It's just like a silvery color and then this is like a... It's a dark gray, but it has like a blue tint to it. So, I think I'm going to keep that. I do like that one. 
these two are the LA Colors little five shadow thing. This was in Tea Time. This one's in White Rose or Wine and Roses. Pretty colors. I th these are hard to open. Yeah, I can't even get that open. So I definitely get rid of that one. This one's not hard to open. I think I'm gonna keep this one. As you can tell, I've kind of used this one a lot more than the other one. We'll see. I might. This is a maybe. Oh, so these are the LA Colors trios. This one is in the color Peony, and these are so bright, but I'm, I'll probably never use those, so I'm going to let those go. This one is in the color Seductive. It's a real pretty, kind of a taupey kind of color. So I'm going to keep that. I like that. This one is in the color Lily. Keep that. Like any, I mean, like these are like the same colors. But I still want to keep them. This one is in the color Orchid. That's pretty. I'm going to keep that. This one is in the color Water Lily. And they're real pretty colors, but I'll probably never wear those. So I'm going to let her have those. These next things are the Profusion Gemini 5 Shades Eyeshadow. One is in smoky, I think, and one's in nude. It doesn't say on the packaging, but these are fairly new. I haven't got to play with these a whole lot, so I'm going to keep these. These are the Twinkle, Twinkle Profusion palettes. These are new, too. I'm going to keep those. One's in smoky and one's in nude, I believe. These, the last, let's see. Yeah, all of these. I never use any of these. This one is the LA Colors one. And it has a bunch of pinks and stuff in it. I'll let her have that. These are the color mates. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Um, I never, never use these. And I'm sure they're great, but I just never grab for them. So I'm going to let her have those. Or at least she can go through them and see what she wants to keep or not. So I got rid of a, quite a bit of those. Okay, next, I will go through these. These are just kind of random things. These are all the Hard Candy um, Intense Color Fierce Effects. Yeah. And they're just like a loose pigment in there. Um, I really do like these. So I went, I think I got all the colors, but maybe one, maybe two. This one is in Heart and Soul. It's just a pink and a dark charcoal gray. This one is in Slow and Steady, like a tan and a brown. This one is in Lost and Found, purple and a pink. And this one is in Soft and Sultry. And it's like a copper bronze color and then like a green. So I do really like these, so I'm keeping these. Let's see. These are all of the Baby Pop LA colors that I got over Christmas time. There's a header in there, sorry. Um, I do like all these. This. So I probably won't use this blue one, so I'll let her have the blue. They, they came in like two to a set, or two to a package. I th yeah, I'm going to keep all those. This is a CoverGirl Shadow Pot. doesn't say a color on it but it's just a pink I don't use it so I'm gonna let her have that this is an elf baked shadow in the color enchanted and it broke on me like the dome part broke off but it's still it's real pretty pretty gold okay so I'm gonna keep that this is a Milani eyeshadow in blue ice and I got this at the Dollar Tree it's one of the smaller ones. I don't. I probably never use that. I'll let that go. These two are the Milani eyeshadows in Aubergine and Coffee Shop. These are fairly new. So I'm gonna keep those. Put brush away. And these are. Let's see. Oh, there's an eye pigment in there. Yeah. These are all the um, hard candy. 
baked shadows that I did in one of my hauls earlier this or at the end of the last year I guess and I'm gonna keep all these I haven't had time to play with a lot of these just yet so and there's just all kinds of colors in there so I'm gonna keep those this is a elf pigment eyeshadow in the color golden goddess I don't know if I even got to use this yet no thing's still on it but it's like a It's, it's like a kind of a bronzy gold. So I'm definitely keeping that. This is the last thing here. This is a Profusion palette in... It doesn't say. But I didn't like these. They're too hard to get into for one. They're very powdery. can't remember how you open this. How do you open this? There. But yeah. I didn't like these, so I'm definitely going. I love the packaging. It's adorable packaging, but I don't really like it. These two are the e.l.f. All Over Color Sticks in Toasted and Persimmon. Toasted and Persimmon. Um, really pretty. I mean, it's like super shimmery, but i keep those. These are the e.l.f. Shimmering Face Whips. This one is in the color Spotlight and it's just a white highlight pretty much. You just need a tiny tiny bit. And just look at how pretty that is. Super highlight there. <laughs> this one is in the color Lilac Petal and this one is in the color Pink Lemonade. So I'm going to keep those. Um, I have one of the Milani Bella, let's see, Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow, and it's in the color Bella Espresso, and it's just like a dark brown. I really, I really like this one. I need to get more of these. I just, it is so smooth and very easy to blend. This is an e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in the color, doesn't say, but it's the purple one. I didn't didn't like these. I don't know if it's just this color or not. It's like a moussey kind of feeling in there. Well see now that looks pretty on my in the swatch. I might have to try this again, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this, so I'll give that another to go. Okay, these are all the Maybelline color tattoos that I got at the Dollar Tree. And all of this here does not include my last two Dollar Trees that I, two Dollar Tree hauls that I posted. So I do have some things to add to this stuff. Um, but yeah, I got all of these color tattoos, except this one. I don't think I got this one at the Dollar Tree. This is inked in pink. I'm pretty sure I didn't get that one there, but all of these other ones I did, they're all just kind of, kind of nude colors. I'm keeping all those because those are all new to me. These are the e.l.f. Mineral eyeshadows and they're like the loose powder. Um, this one is in Glamorous or pretty pinky purple color. This one is in Temptress. Temptress? Temptress. I can't say that. But anyway, that's like a more light kind of pinky pink color. This one is in Smoldering which is a silver. Um, these are also the mineral eyeshadows. This one's Celebrity. Elegant, sassy, sweet, and that is it for those. These are the um, Elf Smudge Pots, and I have it in Cruisin' Chic, Brownie Points, and Hit the Town, and Ain't That Sweet. And I do like these. I haven't used them in a while, actually. This one is my favorite, the Cruisin' Chic one. As you can tell I've used it quite a bit and they're still they just they go on so smooth and just so pretty I'm gonna try this one again I heard this one was not good and I don't know if I've tried it enough yeah, it's kind of patchy but I'm gonna keep it and give it another try here so that's everything except for my palettes and I'll probably do that in another video along with my um, everyday makeup. 
so okay so that is my collection declutter of my eyeshadows I want to thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks bye